Halftime, how are we here at the Long Island Fly Fishing Expo, where hundreds of people are here. What a huge event. Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. This event is huge. If you love fly fishing, here in Plainview at the Holiday Inn, this is where you got to be talking about the fall. This, this is a great event. I, you know, we have a lot of different organizations. We put it together. Long Island has the population. We, we just have a passion for fly fishing. We, say, we need to have something like this on Long Island. And then this is an educational show. You come here for all the different classes we have, the presentation. It just is a wonderful time. And, I, I, and we love to see women and children and whole families get involved in this sport. And Paul, I would imagine people are coming from, from Connecticut, from New Jersey, Massachusetts for this event today. Let me tell you, we actually have a large coming from Alaska. They came down wow. to Alaska, we have from Colorado, Montana, Westchester, Connecticut. We have people from all over coming around. This is this has become this is the second year and it's grown so much. Is it safe to say that this is the Super Bowl of fly fishing here in Long Island. I'm this Long event, Island. And is this a good way to put it? The Super Bowl, yes, it is. This is a great event. We have a terrific time here. Stop it at my store. You know, we have a great shop in, in Ocean Time, New York. We do classes, we do all the presentations. You, you'll enjoy it. You would have a good time. And the neat thing with this, we have lodges. So like you and your wife can rent a cabin for 95 bucks. We're with uh, the great author, Tom McCoy, who has now written four books. Five. Five books. That's awesome. And Tom, you've been a part of this for a long time. Talk about this event and the impact it has on fly fishing here in Long Island. The amazing thing about this event is it's not run by a for-profit organization. It's all volunteer. There's five organizations that have gotten together and put in all this work to create this show for Long Island Fly Fishers. And it's, it's just that, it's a community. Now, bringing together the community and having us all know each other and say hello to each other and share our fly time, and share our books, share our knowledge, and have a good time here on the March afternoon. And there's one word that jumps out of me, passion. Everybody here has an incredible passion for fly fishing. Let's talk about that a little bit. The thing about fly fishing is it's not about the, it's not about catching the fish. People have a hard time figuring that out. It's about the people you meet, it's about the places you go, it's about the equipment you use, it's about the art of the fly. And then after that, it's about catching a fish. So it's an amazing reversal of what you think of when you catch a fish. Just briefly, how did you get into writing books? Now you're on your fifth. I'm sure there'll be more. But what was the motivation in being an author about fly fishing? Well, I, I was always in sales and marketing, so I kind of knew my way around words. And I had a friend who wanted to learn how to fly fish. And I went to buy him a birthday present to get a book that would teach him how to fly fish. And they were all too complicated. Okay. Much too complicated. So I wrote that book for him. Uh, and I gave it to him in, in a Xerox copy. And then when I retired, I got involved with self-publishing, and I published it. That's so awesome. Since then, there's about uh, almost 3,000 copies in circulation. And you know what, Tom? I, I think it is, I, I believe in this very simple philosophy, and I think that's what you're saying. The KISS philosophy. Keep it simple, stupid. And I think that's what your books that's what you wanted to get across. Absolutely. Keep it simple where you where people can relate and not be so complicated. It isn't that complicated. If you write it down and slow down, you're gonna do much better. I'm with uh, Tom O'Dwyer here at the uh, Flying Fishing Expo and Tom. What you do is really unique. You bring art to fly fishing. Talk about how you got into this. Talk about the process. It looks, sounds fascinating. Yeah, so uh, 
You know, I've been doing this for a couple of years. I'm, you know, a passionate fisherman. I've always been artistic, and this uh, was something I kind of picked up. Essentially, uh, I started doing it as a form of taxidermy. These are direct prints of fish we catch onto canvas or on paper. So this is like a 50-pound bass that my friend caught. It was his personal bass. He said, I want to get this mounted. So in this case, I essentially mounted it for him. Move a stuffed fish. We did a direct uh, fish print on canvas. Beautiful. I mean, this is a life-size fish, all the fins, all the scales. It's really uh, an interesting process. It's a lot of fun. It kind of mixes both passions, you know, and uh, we have a good time doing it. You know, and it's good. Uh, in the summer, we catch the fish, we do the prints, and in the winter, I have time to kind of set up in my studio, do the detail work. And uh, it, it was a hobby, it's kind of turned into a small business. And these are all fish that you caught that you made into prints, yeah, right? Yeah, so I, what I do for the shows is to keep a, you know, a nice cost-effective item. I have smaller, uh, these are prints, replicas of originals that I sign and I sell at, uh, you know, anywhere from 20 to $30. So it's pretty, uh, they seem to be pretty popular, great little item for you office or your uh, your home or beach house whatever it may be we also get uh we do some long island kind of stuff and some other local themes so it'll be fun i'm with uh, captain rob thompson and uh rob uh, talk about this event why it's so cool for people that have a passion for fly fishing well, this is the only event on Long Island that has fly fishing at it. So this is getting everybody from all over, all over Long Island to come and get together. Everybody from all the different clubs, we all get to meet each other. And then some people don't realize there's a club in their backyard. So this is an opportunity for them to realize what's actually in their backyard for them to come, come to and get into. And it seems like here in Long Island, you guys are one big family. You all know each other. You all share a great passion. And we come together on an event like this, and it's like getting together with so many people have such a great passion for fly fishing. Definitely. It's, uh, the fly fishing group really sticks together. And uh, I don't know what it is about it. Most of us, some of the guys next to us used to be in clubs from years ago. So there's guys from Eastern Fly Rodders. They're now in other clubs. We've all known each other at one point or another. So it is cool. And uh, Long Island's pretty much the only place that's like that. We all stick together, we're all fishing the same fish too. That's probably one of the big things. Now let's talk about your boat. Let's talk about uh, what makes going on Captain Rob's boat such an experience. It's having fun. That's it, you gotta have fun. If you go out with a guy that's just a jerk, you don't have fun. If you come out and you have fun, we catch more fish, everybody's got a better attitude that day. And you just, that's the part you remember. You always remember the fun trips you had. <laughs> It's a great event today, but what Christina does really special, casting for recovery. Christina, what do you give the folks out there uh, what you do and, and how you help people? Well, what we do is we supply no-cost weekend retreats for women with a diagnosis of breast cancer. And on the retreat, we combine peer pressure, uh, peer support, sorry, with um, medical and psychosocial. And throughout the weekend, we teach them how to fly fish because the motion of the fly fishing helps with the lymphatic system. The weekend is entirely no cost. Everything is raised ahead of time. And the ladies get a chance to, you know, talk to other survivors at any stage out and uh, love of nature and a new sport. That sounds great. And I, I think that, you know, for people who are recovering, what a wonderful thing that you can help them do something that uh, they enjoy, but it's good for them mentally and spiritually. Exactly. Um, I myself attended the retreat nine years ago in the middle of my cancer treatment, and it was life changing. That's awesome. First Sunday in October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I want you to be a big part of that show because I, I think would love that, to. that would be phenomenal. I would definitely love to. Thank you.